What's up? So you're considering getting UA Spark or maybe you've already got UA Spark and you're like, how do I process vocals? I got you covered because I just process some vocals with UA Spark plugins. It's crazy. My name is Nick Rollo. I'm a producer and mixing engineer from Perth in Australia. Welcome to the channel and my purple room and, and my face. Let's get into it before I bore you to death. If you find this helpful, like and subscribe, you know the deal. Helps the algorithm and all that stuff. In fact, just comment something. Oh, I'm getting to like, yeah. Becoming that guy on YouTube. Mm. All right. I made this song as like a lo-fi song for my lo-fi project incognito mode. Go stream it. Sounds like this. I'm going to mute the vocal to start. Sounds pretty cool if you ask me. I then recorded this vocal, which you know I'll just mute all of the uh, all of the stuff on it and play it for you. Clearly, it's not the best singing. Um, there's like a run in there that is obviously very half-assed. It was. It's also super unclear what I'm singing. Like I did this 30 minutes ago just to kind of have something to showcase for this video. <laughs> this is me singing badly. Uh, you can also hear there's a note which is kind of because of this room. I haven't perfectly treated it. So there's like a low kind of mid frequency that I don't really love. I need to get some bass traps. That's another story. Let's jump into how I'm processing it. So I'll solo it. First up, I've got, there's a two plugins I think here that aren't UA Spark, but that's okay. Naturally, you're probably not gonna just use one company's plugins for everything. But I'm starting off with Auto-Tune. Flying on my back, oceans for the waves. I don't have to explain why I'm using Auto-Tune because I, I want it to sound in tune, believe it or not. Next is Vocal EQ by Auto-Tune. That is specifically to deal with that note that I was just talking about. This plugin is so good, I love it. There's a link below to get a free trial of Auto-Tune subscription service. I do get a cutback, but you get a free trial. So go click that if you want. God, I'm just like promoting everything today. This plugin does a lot of work. Lying on my back, oceans for the waves, moon lights in the sky, all I can see is your face. Lying on my back. Doesn't do crazy stuff, but it just sort of catches those notes that are problematic, which allows me to process a bit better later. Anyway, let's get into the actual UA Spark processing. First up, I'm using the UADX LA2A tube compressor. I've used this for a long time on um, my Apollo Twin, but in this case, I didn't record with it. And I'm usually aiming for about minus three, so three dB in gain reduction. Sometimes it goes to about minus seven if I go loud. And I've also, I'm pushing the frequency a bit, uh, the, the volume. Lying on my back, oceans for the waves, moon lights in the sky, all I can see is your face. Lying on my back, oceans for the waves, moon lights in the sky, all I can see is your face. Now, uh, protocol says you shouldn't boost the signal, but you know what? I boosted the signal. Next, I'm going into the... 1176 Rev A compressor. Lying on my back, oceans for the waves, moon lights in the sky, all I can see is your face. Lying on my back, oceans for the waves, moon lights in the sky, all I can see is your face. About minus five, minus three on average. It's got a uh, slow attack and very fast release. And again, I'm probably adding level, like I did this quickly. Together, they kind of catch a lot of the peaks. They add this kind of like edgy compression vibe that I really like. Lying on my back, oceans for the waves, moon nights in the sky, all I can see is your face. Like that's starting to sound legit, you know, it's got that like, that sound. That's the best way I can describe it. <laughs> Next, I'm using the Pooltech EQP1A EQ, which is kind of like, you know, it's like a classic, tons of people use it on vocals. I'm boosting at 10 kilohertz by 2.5, 
and then I am reducing, attenuating by two at a hundred with the broadest bandwidth. So it's like a really broad cue. Lying on my back, oceans for the waves, moonlights in the sky, all I can see is your face. It's just adding like that air and clearness and clarity. Lying on my back, oceans for the waves, moonlights in the sky, all I can see is your face. There's some magical stuff there. And next, and this is backwards because I know before I said, oh, I'm not, I'm using other plugins from different com companies. I can't even speak. I, aside from auto tune and vocal EQ, I've tried to use just Spark plugins. Um, I would have used a different plugin to do a DSing because as far as I'm concerned, Spark doesn't have like a standalone deesser. I would have used like a Lindel deesser or something. However, mainly Voxbox does. Also, they don't have just like an EQ, like a, um, what do you even call it? Like an analytical EQ. The word is eluding me, like a Pro EQ or a Studio One Pro EQ or whatever EQ. Graphical EQ is what I was thinking of. But aside from those, just using Spark plugins. Um, The mainly Voxbox is a bass, like, oh, you can make it sound sick. I don't use it enough, but vibe i think it's like used on the weekend a lot and that kind of stuff i am cutting at 120 like I, I pulled this up just to use it as a dso but whilst i was here i was like you know what i'm here i might as well just like have fun with it so it's on line 120 for a high pass i think i'm pushing the input a little bit because it gives like this kind of saturation that's nice lying on my back oceans for the waves obviously that's like way too loud but oh am i maybe i'm not even I might not even be pushing it. Maybe it naturally pushes. And then I've disabled the compressor because I didn't really want more compression. We could add a little bit more of extra goodness. Then I've got the DSA activated at 6K and I'm just trying to go for kind of about 3 dB. Right now it's on DSA for the uh, the VU. You can just do that by like twisting this thing. Lying on my back, oceans for the waves, moonlights in the sky, all I can see is your face. Lying I'm not going to lie. I would rather use another DSA, but like if you don't have another DSA, it does a pretty good job. I am adding a little bit at 16K, about 1.7 dB, just like a little sparkle. And I am dipping at 300 by 2.3 and that's it. But while we're here, let's like have a look at a bit of gain reduction on compression. Let's activate it, it's three to one. Let's go medium to medium let's just do like a really subtle medium compression lying on my back oceans for the waves moonlights in the sky all i can see is your face lying on my back oceans for the waves moonlights in the sky all i can see is your face lying on my back oceans for the waves moonlights in the sky all i can see is your face lying on my back oceans for the waves moonlights in the sky all i can see is your face it's subtle we like subtle that is the vocal chain let's have a listen please keep in mind it's a lot louder i know i'm not supposed to make it louder but as i said i felt like making it louder <laughs> Lying on my back, oceans for the waves, moonlights in the sky, all I can see is your face. Lying on my back, oceans for the waves, moonlights in the sky, all I can see is your face. Feels pretty good. I've got this going to two sends, V-verb, which I'm using the UAD lexicon on the vocal, smooth whole vocal. I'm using Pro Q to just kind of reduce a bit of a note and also just like get rid of the really lows because I didn't need more of that. And that sounds like this. Lying on my back, oceans for the waves, moonlights in the sky, all I can see is your face. Like, uh, it could be better. Like, this is a really cool reverb. I kind of just tend to use Valhalla vintage verb, so, you know, I don't t typically use this one. Next, I'm using UADX Galaxy Tape Echo on a 16th note. No reverb, fairly high feedback, just wet, boosted output a little bit. And again, rolling off lows. Lying on my back, oceans for the waves, moonlights in the sky, all I can see is your face. Lying on my back. And if I was clever, I'd probably also, with the delay in particular, I'd be um, ducking it a little bit with a compressor. So what you can do whilst we're here, you know, use a compressor. I'm just using the Studio One standard compressor. Do side chain with the vocal, and then I just like to do auto because I'm lazy. Lying on my back, oceans for the waves, moonlights in the sky, all I can see is your face. Basically, 
when the vocal is happening, the delay is not going to be loud. Bass. Bass. All I can see is your face. This isn't the best example and I'm not going to actually use it, but it's just good if it's a bit messy and you want the trail to kind of poke out without having to automate it. This just allows you to get that relatively easily. So inside the song, let's listen to it louder and more professional. Lying on my back, oceans for the waves, nights in the sky, all I can see is your face. Lying on my back, oceans for the waves, nights in the sky, all I can That S is wild, and I would probably actually just like dive in and manually destroy it because sometimes using your uh, using tools is not as good as just going like wah and then going bah and then going a bit more manageable. But you get the idea. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, again, I apologize. Terrible singing. Not very good songwriting. But hopefully, this has been enlightening. If you wanted to get spark or you have spark. And yeah, no, no affiliation from my end. I just like Spark. I think the plugin's sick. If you're looking for a producer or mixing engineer, you can hire me. There's a link to my website in the description where you can listen to some of my work and get in touch. Uh, you can also just send me an email. I love working with new people. So please feel free to reach out if you are ever considering a producer or a mixing engineer. If you happen to use Studio One, there's some presets in the description. They're all free uh, presets and templates. So yeah, have fun and I'll catch you next video. Bye.